What's up guys? Today I'm here with the video my favorite paid Mac applications. As you can see they're all right here on my desktop. They are Angry Birds, Rio, ScreenFlow, Asphalt 6, AppDelete, Mac Keeper, iFreeMem, and Pages. Now let's start off with Angry Birds Rio. If you haven't heard of it already, this is a the sequel to a best-selling game called Angry Birds. It is extremely fun and it is five dollars I believe on the Mac App Store. I mean, if you have five bucks on your account and you don't have anything to spend on, just go ahead and get Angry Birds Rio. It's extremely fun. I love it. And I really think you would too. I think pretty sure they have it on the iOS App Store for iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. And it is extremely fun. And you should go ahead and get it. Second one is ScreenFlow. I'm actually using this right now to record the, this video. This application records your desktop, it can record audio, and it can use the built-in iSight camera on your Mac. Um, this application is a bit pricey. It is $100 flat. Now you can just Google it and you'll find the website. I think it is definitely worth the money. I mean, if you have it and you need it, number one thing about this, if you need it, get it. But I would not spend the money if you don't need this application for video editing purposes. This application does a phenomenal job editing, recording, and exporting all of the videos that I do. I love it. I know a whole lot of people that use it too. Next is Asphalt 6. This is an extremely fun racing game. It is, I believe, $9.99 or $4.99 on the Mac App Store. They have it for iOS. It's $4.99 on iOS, so, I mean, you can play multiplayer. You can do the campaign. You can play locally. You can play over Bluetooth. You can play online. It's really fun. So, definitely, this is a yes. Next is App Delete. As many of you probably know, dragging an application to a recycle bin does not permanently delete everything that is associated with that application. You're going to want the application App Delete. All you have to do is you drag an application here. I don't have an application that I want to delete, but you drag it right here onto this bucket, and it will track all. The documents, the cache, the logs, the user files, I guess, that are associated with that application. And you can move them all to the trash and just empty it. This, I believe, costs $8. You can just Google it, you'll find it. Extremely helpful. Now, I think the best application is right here. It's called Mac Keeper. This is an extremely good virus. Uh, cleaner, scanner, I mean it has all in one. Let me show you it. And I believe this costs 30, 40, yeah 40. It's marked down from like 510. It has all these things in. It has a one click scan, as a binary cutter which cuts files in half to save space, has a cache cleaner that delete. you can delete where you can delete all of your cache. Duplicates Finder, Languages Cutter, I've already done this, Logs Cleaner, this will get rid of all your logs, it'll find it and then you can, it'll give you the ability to move it to the recycle bin. Old Files Finder, this is, these are files that you haven't used in a while. It has Backup, Data Encryptor, Default Apps, Disk Usage, Login Items, Shredder, which is like App Delete. It just came with it. Undelete, if you delete anything, you want to get it back, you can use this. Wise uninstaller, so if you want to uninstall things. Anti theft, I mean, it says it right here if your Mac is lost or stolen, log into our website and click the alert button. You will create an account on Zeobit to get this application. Has Geek on Demand, which is a service that you pay for, and Zeodisk, which is coming soon. So I definitely recommend this. 
not saying that the um, Apple File File Vault does a bad job, but if you want extra security, definitely go with um, MacKeeper. The second to last one is iFreeMam. Um, as most of us probably know, OS X uses a whole lot of RAM. And this will somehow literally cut your RAM in half. Or not in half, but it will free up a lot. See, I have half memory here. Just hit optimize. And no matter how many applications you have open, this will free up a lot. Whether it's only 400 megabytes or 3 gigabytes. This does a phenomenal job. I believe this is... $10, 15 I'm really not sure of the price. Moving on to Pages. I'm sure everybody who owns a Mac should, if not, knows what Pages, Pages is. Pages is the Apple version of word processing. It's like Microsoft Word, except I think more user-friendly. You could buy the iWorks suite which is $80. It comes with pages, keynote, and numbers, which is like Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. And these suite, this suite of applications is amazing. It's incredibly user-friendly. You can create almost everything, if not more, than you can on Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. Now, if you just want pages, you're in luck. This is available on the Mac App Store for $20, so it'd really be a much better deal to buy all three of them on the App Store for $60 than to buy the whole suite for, I believe it's $80. So, you can type anything you want. Type in Hello YouTube. So, that's Pages. So, these are definitely really good applications that are paid. I will go over the best free applications in another video and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.